Hi everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. Previously, we have learnt about clock gating checks. We understood about clock gating paths and let us now understand about integrated clock gates. If you remember, in our previous video, we have discussed this kind of path and we concluded that the sense of launch and the sense of capture should not be same or else it will result in good setup margin but difficult to meet hold. To mitigate that, we have understood that launch should be opposite that is capture is rising edge then launch should be falling edge and vice versa and most importantly this requirement is coming from the fact that gating signal should not change this is your gating signal or enable signal it should not change during the inactive period of the clock signal some of you might be wondering that why this gating signal this gating signal it is coming as an output of this flip-flop uff zero it could have come directly also as a combinational logic like this. So in this diagram, if you see this AND gate is an asynchronous signal and this gating signal is not coming as a output of flip flop, but this one is coming as a output of flip flop. Why are we considering this example as a standard example where flip flop output is a gating signal and we are not considering this particular case. Why is that? Let us try to understand the case where gating signal is directly used without any flip flop. Let us take an example to understand this. So this is our enable signal or gating signal. This is gating signal and in this signal this is your without any flip flop. So you can say that this is asynchronous signal because it is not coming from any flip-flop this is asynchronous and it can come any time to the clock and this is your clock signal these both are coming to the AND gate so AND gate output is this one this is AND gate output which is the last one so this output is coming from these two signal and if you see whenever your gating enable signal here this is coming when clock is inactive at that time there is no problem whenever the change is happening during inactive period of clock so this is your inactive period of clock in this clock inactive period whenever the enable signal is changing there is no issue and here also enable signal is changing during inactive period of clock so there is no issue but here enable signal is changing when the clock is active and at that time you can see that there is a for slight amount of time there is a glitch and this is your glitched output if you see this is your glitched output and that is what you do not want and that is why it is very necessary to avoid this glitch and synchronize the gating output now let us quickly write down our learnings here so first learning is that gating signal your gating signal this is your gating signal it should come from your sequential element so should come from sequential element sequential element means which is your latch or flip-flop so it should come from sequential element that is your first learning which we did just now and then second is which we have done in previous videos that gating signal should change only during inactive period of the clock so it should change only during inactive period of the clock inactive period means when clock is not active inactive period of the clock and third third and very important learning is your sense of the clock so sense of launch and capture it should be opposite if your capture is positive edge then your launch should be negative edge so sense of launch and capture should be opposite should be opposite these are the three main learnings that we have done so far now comes the very important and interesting part so this launch flop here will be generally speaking will be a capture flop for some other timing path like this and historically by design so far this path and this path after that these are very difficult timing paths to meet in the setup and in fact with increasing design complexity and frequency targets it has become very common practice to replace this flip-flop with a latch for time borrowing purpose 
Hence, it is possible that you would find in your design a negative level sensitive latch output here will be controlling the clock gate instead of a flip flop. Assuming that you have 10,000 such paths where a latch output is going to a clock gate like this, then to save area and power, designers combine latch and clock gate together and implement it as a single cell. And that is called as integrated clock gate. Hence, if you are asked in the interview, what is an ICG? The answer to that, it is an integrated clock gating signal cell, which is made as a combination of latch and clock gate made to save area and power in the design. That is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Till then, please do give your important feedback in the comment section and do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.